Tonight, a disturbing Eyewitness News exclusive about New Jersey homeowners facing foreclosure. The state got hundreds of millions of dollars of federal money to help people keep their homes. But two years later, very little of that money has been spent. Investigative reporter Jim Hoffer went to Governor Christie for some answers, and the governor wasn't happy. With just a few minutes on the Internet, it is as clear as thousands of red dots that New Jersey is mired in a foreclosure crisis. One of those dots represents Odessa Jenkins' home of nearly 30 years. When you were working full time, you always made your mortgage payment? Right. But last year, Miss Jenkins was laid off at her job at a daycare and quickly fell behind in her mortgage. The bank moved to foreclose. They want to take the house. That's when Miss Jenkins turned to the state for help. Two years ago, New Jersey received $300 million from the federal government to help the unemployed keep their homes. The state used that money to create the Homekeeper Loan Program. Nine months after applying to Homekeeper, Miss Jenkins was told she didn't qualify. Now, losing her home is almost certain. You're going to keep fighting? Yeah. Why? Why? Because that to me, I've been fighting all my life. Aren't you in some ways the perfect candidate for the homekeepers? We thought we were. Brenda Klein, who used to make 80000 a year in the garment industry, turned to homekeeper when she and her husband were laid off. They filed hundreds of financial documents. Month after month, she waited for word on her application as the mortgage bills piled up. One year after filing for help, she was told she no longer qualified because she owed too much in back mortgage payments. We weren't the ones that, that took the time to make the arrears build up. If you'd have taken a, a month, maybe two, we would have qualified. Data we've obtained show since 2010, Homekeeper has only approved 498 families for foreclosure assistance. But nearly 2,000 homeowners have been denied help. In fact, less than $4 million of the $300 million has been spent, ranking New Jersey last among 18 recipient states in giving out these emergency foreclosure funds. So why is New Jersey so slow in getting this money to help families? It's a question we asked the governor. Why is it taking so long, more than a year, to get that money out of the families? Because the courts placed the moratorium on foreclosures. But the moratorium did not stop other states from helping families already facing foreclosure. When I pressed the governor on this, it's clear he did not want to answer. Why would you blow it off? Michael, please, help me ignore him. We tried for a month to get an interview with the head of the state agency that oversees these foreclosure funds, but they denied our request. A spokesperson says new reforms are being implemented that will ease qualification requirements and also speed up the application process. Jim Hoffer, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Quite a story. Jim tells us if you have a tip about this or any other story, we invite you to call our tip line, 1-877-TIP-NEWS, or email us at v.investigators at abc.com.